guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do week seven. It's completed. Seven weeks of homeschooling is done. It's under our belt. <laughs> so that's exciting. And it was an interesting week. I must say it was, I was, I wasn't feeling it this week. I was tired emotionally, physically, but the kiddos are doing well. Although some some days this week they also some days last week they they were also dragging their feet, but um, yeah, it's normal. Some days you have good days, some days you have bad days. But this week, I mean, sorry, I keep saying this week. It's Sunday, so Erica is still reading the barn. We are. I don't know if last week I mentioned our read aloud. But I don't think so. So this week for our this week for our read aloud, we're reading about average, and it's really good. The kids are really enjoying the book. It's a really good read. So we're doing about average for our read aloud. Eric is still reading the barn, and um, Kelly finish the best tricks ever. This week, Kelly started. Um, Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss. So she finished that and she'll be starting a new book this week. So I'm excited. She's doing awesome. She's still um, doing great at her um, all about spelling, all about reading. Although I'm finding it a bit challenging to do um, both, but we're getting it than it takes because it's really teacher intensive and I have the other two small kiddos but we're making it work I'm trying to figure out um, how to do the two so at first we started out doing both every day because my fourth grader also do all about spelling um, with with the second grader so um, I at first I wanted to do it every day, then I tried doing it um, every other day. So one day she would do all about reading, the other day she would do all about spelling. But I'm not sure if I like that combination because I like having her have, um, have both of them every day. So right now what I'm thinking of doing, trying this week is I'll do half the lesson for all about reading and then because it's as you go as you go along it, it get the lessons get the amount of work is more like the amount of work she has to read has to practice is more so what I'm thinking about doing is having her do half of the all about reading and then half about the all about spelling to make sure we get it in because Last week, I don't think we got in much of the all about spelling because, like I said, I was really exhausted. Um, although they did good, some days they were dragging their feet. So um, yeah, we we uh, we didn't get in much about all about spelling, but we did do all about reading every day. So this week I'm going to try to do half of each lesson and see how that works for us and I'll let you know. Uh, Micaiah is doing great. He this week he did school every day. <laughs> he um he asked to can I do my school now? So he he does like it, but like I say, some weeks he has his moments. So when he wants to do it, we dig in <laughs> and we do it. So yeah, Naomi. She's doing great. She still have her moments more than I would like, <laughs> but she's doing awesome. She asks to play Play-Doh every day. I try to do a little bit of um, schooling with her um, when I can. She actually likes going through her folder. She actually likes when it's her turn for me to sit down with her and go through her um, her busy folders with her animals and her colors and her shapes. She loves that. So this week we got in a little bit of that 
and hopefully um, sorry last week we got him a little bit of that and hopefully we can do more um, this week because she does like it and it to me it does calm her down when she gets her little attention in but she's not as demanding my time as she did in the first couple of the first two weeks of um, home switch I'm grateful for she's more cooperative in that area as long as she has her play-doh or uh, she has her other little um, busy toys that she can play with or the playroom is right next door to the school room so Makaya helps me out in that area I just say take your sister to the playroom and then they both go play for a little bit while I um, especially if I have to do like science or a group activity where I need to focus on the girls then both of them will go to the playroom so he helps me out in that area like an awesome big brother so that's you know that's always helped for those of you who miss our vlogs sorry I must put this in here for those of you who miss our vlogs and our day in the lives I'm gonna try and get right back on them it's just I'm tired <laughs> I'm tired and um, I haven't really had, being honest, I haven't really had the motivation to vlog lately, but I do miss it because I love capturing the kids' uh, moments. And um, also, like I mentioned, like my family lives in the Caribbean, so it's always a treat for them to see how the kids are doing and how they're growing up and stuff. So. I'll get back to it. Maybe this week I can do a day in the life or a vlog or something, but there'll be something up pretty soon. So, yes, mommy <laughs> and Auntie Fee, there'll be something up soon for you guys. Anyway, that's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching and stopping by. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys, and see you in our next. So we had a good week, a good short week. <laughs> and who doesn't like a good short week every now and then, every now and again? 